RV preventive maintenance checks are used to help you detect problems early and prevent serious and costly repairs. But to make some checks and catch some problems early requires certain tools. Today we will look at and discuss five tools every RV owner should keep on hand in their RV. Number one, a digital multimeter that reads AC and DC voltage. A good digital multimeter is an essential RV tool. You can use it to get a quick picture of your battery's state of charge. Measuring battery voltage with the voltmeter lets you know when the batteries need to be recharged. Set the meter on DC voltage and connect the red lead to the positive terminal and the black lead to the negative terminal. A fully charged 12 volt battery should read 12.7 volts. Readings less than 12.5 volts indicate the battery state of charge is less than 80% and the battery needs to be charged. You can also use a multimeter to test 12 volt fuses, lights, and other 12 volt accessories in the RV. Switch the multimeter setting to read 120 volts AC to check or test 120 volt devices. Speaking of checking the voltage, that brings up the second tool you should keep on hand in your RV, a digital line monitor. You can use a digital line monitor to check voltage at the campground before you plug in. It displays AC voltage. It also checks for other concerns like reverse polarity, open ground, and high or low voltage. I bought this digital line monitor more than 15 years ago and it does everything I need it to. It tests the incoming power, and if you are running a generator, it tests the frequency. If there is a fault, there's a warning light and an audible alarm. After I make sure the campground power is good, I plug the monitor into an outlet inside the RV to monitor the power throughout the camping trip. Before we move on to number three, I just want to mention there are surge protectors available like this one from SurgeGuard that check the power faults at the campground and protects your RV's electrical system too. Number three on my list of tools to keep in the RV is a battery charger that not only charges batteries, but it conditions and maintains the battery too. When I say conditions and maintains the battery, I am talking about turning sulfation back into active plate material. When a battery is not charged in a timely manner, crystals start attaching to the lead plates. If these sulfate crystals go unchecked, it will ruin the battery. I have used battery miner products for years. The battery miner uses a range of high frequency electronic pulses to desulfate the crystals back into active plate material and it will never overcharge the batteries regardless of how long it stays connected to the batteries. I use it on my motorcycle and our golf cart batteries too. If you visit the Battery Miner site, there is some great information on battery care and maintenance. Number four is a quality tire pressure gauge. I recommend you spend a few more dollars and get a good tire pressure gauge. If the gauge will be used for checking dual wheels on a motorhome, the chuck end of the gauge should have a dual foot design to make the job easier. Always select a gauge rated higher than the inflation pressure of the tires you are checking. Applying more pressure than the gauge is rated for can damage the gauge and affect the accuracy. Try not to drop or hit the gauge on anything. Store the gauge in some type of protective covering or case and in an area where it won't be damaged. I personally use a gauge by Tire Minder. The most important thing about a tire gauge is that you use it on a regular basis to check your tires. That includes your car and truck tires too. That brings me to number five on my list. I like to have an air compressor in the RV when we take trips, but most compressors capable of inflating the RV tires are too big and bulky to keep in the RV. Then I found a Viair portable air compressor specifically designed for RVs. I can't say enough about it. Let's take a look. As an RV educator and RV owner, I struggled for answers and a solution to find a small portable air compressor capable of inflating the tires on our RV. I don't recommend using air compressors at gas stations for two reasons. One is they are abused and you don't know if the inflation pressure is accurate, and two is if you check the tire pressure when the tires are hot, you get inaccurate readings, which can be dangerous. Bayer reached out to me a while back asking if I was interested in reviewing the 450P-RV's portable air compressor. After reviewing and testing the air compressor, the rest is history. It is the perfect tool for RV owners.
If you visit the Viair website, you will notice there are RV compressor models available for towable RVs and for Class A, B, and C motorhomes. Now I can take a quality air compressor everywhere we go in the RV. Well, there you have it, my top five tools to keep on hand in your RV. Happy camping.